What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Hardware Solutions and today we're talking about Little Nightmares 2. Now this game has been launched in 2021 which is this year and a lot of people are playing this game right now. Now you might have bought this game or got this game and you're getting a lot of like FPS issues, lag and just in general a bad gameplay experience. Now today I'm going to show you guys what you can do with Windows to get more FPS out of your game and I'm not going to link you some weird website where you need to go and get a config for your computer or your laptop and stuff like that don't listen to the people that is doing that that shit doesn't work trust me it doesn't work at all today I'm going to show you what you can do inside Windows to get more FPS out of this game to make your game run much smoother and let you have a much smoother gameplay experience now this includes everyone out there it does not matter if you're running this game on a laptop if you're running it on a computer doesn't matter if you're running it on a gaming laptop a gaming computer it doesn't matter today i'm going to show you what you can do with this game to get more fps out of this game and lose the complete with stuttering and stuff like that and all the nonsense that's happening with this game right now especially if you're running a low-end laptop or a low-end gaming pc or just a low-end pc in general today i'm going to show you what you can do inside windows to get more fps and have a better smooth gameplay experience all right, let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So what you're going to need to do first is go to the search bar here at the bottom and type in run and press enter. Now, what you're going to need to do is press shift and five to bring up the percentage symbol and type in temp just like that and shift and five again to bring up the percentage symbol and just press enter or click OK. Once you're done with that, you might have a lot of nonsense inside here that your PC does not currently need at all because it's just temporary files just click on anything press ctrl and a and say delete once you're done with that you close out of this you go to recycling bin say empty recycling bin and say yes once you're done with that you're going to go to your search bar here at the bottom again you're going to type in run and this time you're going to type in prefetch just like that make sure you type it out like that and press enter or just click ok once you're done with that you just click on anything here Press Ctrl and A, highlight everything, right click on it, say delete, and say skip because Windows is currently using this file. And these are prefetched files that Windows uses. And the files are just deleted, Windows doesn't need it anymore, so you can delete it. Once you're done with that, you just empty recycling bin again, and then you're done. Once you're done with that, what we're going to need to do is we are going to do some graphics settings in Windows itself to get better performance for Little Nightmares 2, and it's very easy to do. So what you're going to do is go to the search bar at the bottom and type in graphics settings just like that. Type in graphics settings just like that and it will come up over here. Just open this up and what you're going to need to do is this. If you have this option here, I highly recommend switching it on. If you do not have this option here, like old gaming laptops or old gaming PCs or just in general, you do not have the best of laptops or the best of computers, you might not have this option, but don't worry, I got you. So all you need to do is go to the bottom of here and click browse once you click browse you go and find where your little nightmares is installed and double click on little nightmares once it's added to over here all you're going to need to do is go to options and click on high performance and say save now this doesn't matter what graphics card you have what pc you have it does not matter it really does not matter just make sure you put that on high performance once you're done with that i'm just going to close this out we're going to make a power plan for little nightmares 2. So what you're going to need to do is go to the search bar here at the bottom and type in edit power plan just like that and click on this button where it says edit power plan. So what you're going to need to do is go to power options and I already created one for my game and it works perfectly fine but I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So I'm just going to delete this one and show you what you're going to need to do. So you're going to go to create a power plan. Once you're over here you click on high performance because you just want high performance out of this you want your PC to its best, you want your laptop to its best, and now you're going to type in here, just like this, Little Nightmares 2, and say next. Now make sure this is on never, make sure this is on never, and say create. Once you're done with that, now you have a power option that is for this game. So go to change plan, go to where it says change advanced power settings, and go over here. Now these boxes over here, it's very, very important to do some tweaks in here, especially if you're a person that has a low-end budget PC or low-end budget laptop. So go to your hard disk and where it says turn off hard disk after, change this. If it says 10 minutes or 20 minutes, if you haven't done any tweaks in here before, then you're going to need to just click on the box, 
delete whatever is inside there and press zero and say apply click anywhere else and it's going to say never now it's going to say turn off hard disk after never meaning your hard drive will never switch off especially users that's running this game or their windows on a mechanical hard drive not a solid state drive now this works for solid state drives as well because i'm currently running everything on solid state drives so all you're going to need to do is go down go to processor power management and then over here where it says minimum processor state now for laptop users you're going to get two options where it says on battery and plugged in and desktop users you're only going to get one option all right so just click on the plus sign here what Ever yours says inside here if it says 30 percent 50 percent 60 percent change this to 100 and this will push your processor to get more fps out of your game trust me it helps a lot all right go to maximum processor state and make sure this is also on 100 once you're done with that you just click ok and you close out of this now once you're done with that and if you are a nvidia user this is for nvidia users only so you can skip ahead if you do not use a video graphics card and you just use a laptop. Don't worry, I got you guys as well. But this is for NVIDIA users. All right, so you go to your NVIDIA control panel. If you do not see this here when you right click at all, all you need to do is go to the search bar here and type in NVIDIA control panel. Once you open it up, it's going to look like this. All right, so now you look at this, you click on this little thing here, and then you're going to select your graphics card that you're currently running. And you say apply i can't apply mine because mine's already on my graphics card you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to change this you're going to go to use my preference and change this to performance and say apply once you're done with that all you're going to need to do is change the game settings inside the game so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to jump straight into the video and show you guys what settings you're going to need to use inside the game to get your best performance no lag and just a better overall experience no matter what user you are, I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do. Let's jump straight into that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in Little Nightmares 2 right now, and I'm currently doing 144 FPS, or commonly known as frames per second. Now, what you're going to need to do as a laptop user, desktop user, it doesn't matter what user you are. Like I said, if you followed my steps in earlier on in the video, you'll get better FPS in this game, or frames per second. You might not see your FPS if you don't have it on, or if you don't have it on, you're going to just see the gameplay experience will be better for you once you go and play the game. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is go to the settings option over here, and then I highly recommend changing the resolution depending on the screen that you are running, the monitor that you are running, or the display that you are running. So if you're running a laptop, check your display. If you want to make sure what your display is, just click here, and it will give you your highest one that you can choose. If you're a laptop user, you might have 1080p, depending on the laptop that you have, or you might have 720p options. Very, very sure you wouldn't be watching this video if you can rock this game at 4K, because I can rock this game at 4K because I have a 4K TV and two 1080p monitors. Now, just change, play around with this. If you're doing, let's say 1080p with your laptop or your desktop computer, and you're still getting FPS loss of the game stutter and stuff like that, change this down to about there this is highly recommended if you're getting frame loss and if your game is stuttering but if it's not stuttering anymore keep it on 1080p and just keep it on here now I highly recommend playing this in full screen mode or you could play it in borderless so it plays full screen borderless now as i said before i've got three displays i've got one tv i've got two monitors so just choose if you've got multiple monitors obviously you could just choose what monitor you want to play it on obviously and then we're going to go to the advanced options. Now, in my advanced options, I have everything on Ultra because my graphics card is powerful enough to run this game perfectly fine on Ultra. And I still do 144 FPS while I play the game. All right, so if you're a low-end budget gaming PC user or a low-end laptop user, what you're going to need to do is just where it says anti-analyzing, you're going to turn this off. Where it says bloom, you're going to put this on low. Where it says post-processing, you're going to put this on low. Where it says textures, you can play around with this. You can either put it on medium or on high because you do not want to put it on low and the game's going to look like absolute trash. So just keep it on medium or high. All right, so where it shows you shadows, just click this on low, put this on low and keep it on low. You do not really need the shadows that much and it's going to make you lose FPS. Where it says effects, I highly recommend putting this on medium. Where it says ambient occlusion, I highly recommend putting this on either medium or low. Where it says depth of field, you can put this on high or on low. And then just apply it and check your game out. 
Now, I'm not going to change any of my other settings because my settings is perfect the way it is. Just play around with just what I should just showed you now. And I hope you get more FPS out of your game. Less stutter, no lag, and the game is just much better for you overall. If this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I would like to get some feedback to know if this actually worked for you. Subscribe if you are new to my YouTube channel for more videos to come on a regular basis. And as always, peace out.